So welcome to some of my first thoughts on the brand new Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom. Yes, this is a brand new Wonder Boy game. But it's not a Wonder Boy game, but it is. We're gonna get into all of this. I just wanna say this is not a review. These are some early impressions. I'm about, I'd say 11% into the game. I've been playing it for a bunch of hours today. And I had to come in here and do a video and just talk about this. I really did and I'm no spoilers. It's none of that. Any footage that I'm showing is right from the beginning of the game and I'm not gonna show anything where you transform or anything like that because there's so much to talk about here. This is very interesting. So this game started a bunch of years back and it was called Flying Hamster back then. It was a, a Kickstarter project. It was a sequel to another game. Now that game got canceled and they started working on it to make it into a Wonder Boy game. Now at that time, Sega had some issues with them using the Wonder Boy license. So they changed the name to Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. And development has been going for quite a few years. I've been watching it as it's changed. The main characters changed quite a lot. The art style has changed quite a lot. And I'm happy to say it's gotten amazing. Like it started off really good, but I loved it that they took their time they were in no rush just to get everything right and they listened to all of the fans' feedback. All of the fans' feedback. Some of the fans are like, I don't like the way the main character looks. They're like, you know what? We kind of agree with you. We're going to work on the character. And they got it perfect. They got it perfect. So what's amazing is we live in a time now where Wonder Boy has made a resurgence back into mainstream video gaming culture. And Wonder Boy is a game that I grew up with. Here's the, the original game. It started off as a kind of an action game, a side view action game. And it was charming, it was charming. But then I played the incredible uh, Wonder Boy in Monsterland, where they changed it. And all of a sudden it had become a side view action RPG. And I was in heaven. Now a couple of years ago as well, we got this. Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap. Uh, this is a remake, remaster of the original game. The, the original game is in there, but there's also a remapping of all the graphics and some enhanced music. And I was like, oh my god, I can't believe we're getting this. And then we get this game, which I have to explain it. This is a true Wonder Boy Monster World sequel. It really is. So the last Monster World game we got was this one, number four. Uh, this was a was a wonderful game on the Mega Drive. But after that, we never got any sequels. As I say, we got some remastered versions and things like that, but no true, true sequels. Until today <laughs> that I played it. And I just want to say some things here that I was playing this game and I almost got a small tear because the developers have put so much love into this and so much care into this and so much appreciation into this from the original series. And I'm talking about all of them. We're talking about the Dragon's Trap. We're talking about, you know, uh, Wonder Boy 4 here, uh, Monster World 4, uh, you know, and the original Wonder Boy Monster Land. They've gone back to what made all of those games great and they've done a brand new action RPG that is absolutely phenomenal. And I was playing the game and I was like, I cannot believe, and I'm saying this, I cannot believe they got it so right because they could have gotten it so wrong. They could have just done a cheap cash in, kind of like a, a, like a mobile style game, a handheld style game that way, and just kind of given it kind of an updated skin and you know, put a little bit of effort in, no. No, they put a great deal of effort in. A great deal. Let's just talk about uh, graphics here. The graphics are unbelievable. All hand-drawn, beautiful, out-of-this-world graphics. I mean, I'm just, I was playing it and I was just running around the world and I'm like, this is great. A return to hand-drawn graphics in a time when everything has gone 3D and this game is not 3D, it's a 2D side view, action, platforming, Metroidvania style of game. And oh my god, yeah, so graphic wise, for some early impressions of the game, 
are stunning. The animation on the characters, and I'm not going to say anything about any of these characters or some of the transformations if you haven't seen them, but sometimes when the characters stay idle, oh, it's, it's, it's really great. And, and yes, in this game, uh, you can use a sword and shield and items and uh, different boots and uh, magic. But you can also, like this game right here, the Dragon's Trap, turn into different monsters. And that allows you to do different things, they have different abilities, and some of these abilities are so awesome. And harken back to the original Wonder Boy games. There's so many homages to the past Wonder Boy games that I sat, there's one moment and you'll, you'll see it. And if you're a Wonder Boy fan, you'll see it right away, you'll go, Oh my god, I can't believe they've honored the original game so well as a true sequel. And Okay, let's keep on going here. You know, you can see I'm very enthused about this. I, I really am. How is the music? The music is fitting. It is beautiful. Some of the music is by Yuzo Koshiro of Streets of Rage fame. This is what I'm talking about. A great deal of effort has gone in here. It wasn't just like, oh, we'll just put some music in and all that. The music is great, and coupled with the visuals, it took me back to being a younger person. And that's what this is. These are games, okay, these are games for a lot of us who are older, uh, you know, that we grew up with, and this game is honoring those fans. But at the same time, it's honoring new fans of the series who have never played any of these games. You can just jump right in and have the time of your life. And the controls feel so responsive, so good. There's so much action platforming and there's it's challenging. It's challenging. It's not like you just fly through the levels at times and you say, oh, that was easy. Sometimes you will die quite a bit. There was quite a few times I was like, man, but it's one of those things where you learn the platforming and then you become a master. So it's one of those style of games. It's not just like you kind of luck your way through a level. It's not cheap. It's kind of like what we were saying for Mega Man 11. It's difficult, but if you memorize it, you will get better at it. And that's the style of game. Now, here's the thing. So many secrets to, uh, to unlock and to find in this game. And I was finding them so accidentally at times. I was like, oh my God. It was ones that reminding me of like Super Mario Brothers 3 puzzles. And I was like... The development team here has done such a great job of honoring the original games, adding something new, putting so many secrets in, and boss encounters, which I will not show because they will ruin everything. And as I say, these are first impressions. I, I am absolutely thrilled how well they got this game. And as you can see, there's so many games coming out this year. There's so many. There's Spider-Man's. There's Red Dead Redemption. A lot of you are playing all of these games right now. And I had to come in because I thought this game cannot be swept under the rug. Because it's at, at a time when there's so many blockbuster AAA games. And here's the thing I'm going to say. This game is a blockbuster AAA game that's 2D. The likes of which I haven't seen in a long time. And let me say, I did enjoy Wonder Boy and, and the Dragon's Trap quite a lot, but it wasn't a new game. This is a new game. And I was running around in underwater cabins and, and I was jumping from level to level in underground caves. I was swimming underwater, uh, going to brand new worlds, talking to characters, interacting, buying weapons. I just Even the weapon shops and things like that are incredible. And the creatures that are in there, that is old school Wonder Boy. And uh, yeah, it says, I could go on and on about this for hours. I could, I could just tell you how much I love every single aspect of it, how I love the animation, how I love the monsters and how some of the old monsters are back again in this and how they've honored the original games in such a, a religiously perfect way that it's knocked my socks off for sure. I'm using an old goddamn saying like that. Uh, I just want to say to the development team and to everybody involved in this game, bravo, I mean, You've knocked it out of the park and you've made an older guy very, very happy today. Because I, I'm not saying that I didn't believe that you were going to pull it off, but so many companies aspire to do great things with old franchises and miss the mark. 
and you did not miss the mark. You captured the experience of the original games and have improved upon them and given so much more into this. And it's one of those games that I don't want to rush through. I walked away. I was like, I don't want to play anymore because I just don't want to get through it, so it's over. I don't want this game to be over at all. And as I say, there's no review score today. I may do a review in the future. I may just kind of settle with this video because I feel really good about the way I, I'm kind of getting across how I feel. And there's a lot more to come in this game for me and I cannot wait. I've only scratched the surface, but what I've scratched, oh, I wish I could tell you some of the things that I've seen and done. It's, it's magical and this game is magical and I'm gonna get off, I'm gonna go back to it right now. I, I have to go and play it again, it's just so fun. And for anybody who wants to know, it's on the Nintendo Switch, it's on PC, it's on the Xbox, it's on the PS4, and I'm say one more thing, I bought the PS4 version, and I bought the Nintendo Switch version physical copies, which I must have, and I just wanna thank the development studio for sending over a copy of the game so I could give some early impressions of it. And I was nervous, I was like, Oh man, what if I hate this game? You know, what if it's really bad? Thank you. I did not hate it. I absolutely loved it. So anyways, guys, until next time.